Hi there! I want to share some of my file folder journals with you and just show you how I uh, used these Cavallini and Company file folders. Um, they're my new addiction. I really love their designs and I couldn't just pick one out so I ended up going with um, I think it's six different designs I have. Anyways what I've been doing is just trying different little um, binding techniques just to make quick little junk journals so they're a great idea for gifts, um, hostess gifts or you know stocking stuffers that sort of thing. And I just really wanted to just try them out. Uh, the designs I picked go really well with some of these scrapbook paper lines out there and they go with uh, some of my digitals as well so that was why I um, got those. I've got two different styles here that I created and so one of them is just a uh, single signature style with the file folder still being the full length this way. I cut it down to uh, about nine inches I think and I folded in a section on the front and a section on the back so that I was left with a six inch wide book to fit in my pattern paper. This butterfly one I ended up using eight and a half by eleven paper inside so it's got a nice little gap here that worked out perfectly. And for the binding I used my um, seam binding and I left it plain white but it could be sprayed if I wanted to. So this is like I said a sing single signature book and the only hole I needed was a center hole so that I could loop my seam binding through the center and then up the top and over the bottom as well and then come back around and just tie it on the back here at the center. And it's holding everything nice and snug inside. You know, I tied it really tight and everything's just held together nicely. And I used a mixture of um, craft paper and sheet music and plain paper, cardstock. You know, I just did a basic junk journal. I left a lot of blank space for journaling. And then for the closure, I punched a hole about an inch from the top and maybe, I guess that's about an inch and a half. One hole at the top, one at the bottom, and I used this, um, I forget what it's called, hat elastic or, anyways it's like the round, one or two millimeter round elastic. I just tied a knot right there and then it just holds everything closed like that. So this is the first style. Super easy to make. You could quickly, easily make one of these in an afternoon, no problem. This one here is very similar, except I did do um, the stitching into three holes on this one. Instead of looping over the top, like this, so I can just go quickly through this one. And this is one of those where um, at the end of the day when I was watching TV, I sprayed it. I didn't do the coffee dyeing ahead of time. I sprayed it after the book was bound. Just did some spraying and then some dabbing. And then I would flip the page and then it would sort of double, double stain everything. And I did that throughout. And these aren't so much tuck spots. I just wanted to embellish the plain pages that I used. So these are just a scallop uh, punch with some pattern paper and I just stitched it on. So it's just an embellishment. It's not really a tuck spot. It doesn't really work so much as a tuck spot. This lined paper, I had the, um, I tore it out of the notepad as is. And then I just folded that piece over and stitched it there just to strengthen the, the end, the edge. So this is just, again, lots of writing space in this one. No embellishments as of yet. I may just include them with the journal if I end up giving it away or if I 
sell these on Etsy. Just a large doily in there. The papers in here are the Kirby Tisdale. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Okay. Book page. And again, the same elastic closure on the back. There's a tuck spot in here and one on the front. So that's just, again, it's the, the whole um, height of the file folder and then fold it in at the, at about six and a quarter in this case because this is the full 12 inch paper that I just folded in half and then it's nine high. I like this size. I like the six by nine. It's still compact but also roomy enough to, to do what you need to do in them. And then these two here are identical except for the papers and the file folder styles that I used for them. So I will show you this one here. It's very pretty. It's got this nice blue bird here. So with this one I did, uh, I used waxed linen thread and uh, stitched through the three holes and it's a single signature again and then for this one uh, I did fold at six and a quarter on the front and back but for the front I folded it inwards and made a pocket out of it and then for the this back one here it's it's a flap that goes over the top right And again, just a lot of journaling space. And I sprayed all of these pages with my coffee spray. Gives it a nice uh, tattered, distressed look. And this uh, colored cardstock here, I don't know if you can see, but when it was wet, it actually imprinted a little bit of the color on here. It looks kind of neat. I just love this paper. It's beautiful. Some ledger paper. And for the closure it's uh, seam binding and a brad that I just uh, poked my hole here and inserted the brad and tied my seam binding to the brad and then to close it up I just go around loop it and that's it and this is pretty much the same um, style same stitching style the same pocket on the front here with the same flap and a brad and just my junk paper and pattern paper and I also sprayed it no embellishments in these yet either I've just been collecting all the journaling cards and tags and stuff that I'm going to add to them and I think some of these are going to be in my Etsy shop shortly if I can just get all the photos done. And then last but not least I want to show you this one. Um, this one was sort of like an experiment too. I used three pieces of file folder so I used one and a half file folders basically and I made three signatures and each signature has a file folder as a cover okay and if you've seen my chunky Shakespeare junk journal I used the same binding technique where I did a hidden spine that I stitched my signatures onto inside and I glued it to this spine so that I don't see my threads okay so since the front and back signatures were file folders, I didn't need a hard cover 
to go all the way around my book. So what this small spine is, is actually a piece of grunge paper, Tim Holtz grunge paper, that I painted and sanded and distressed and just colored it with acrylic paints and distress stains until it was sort of a bluish black to go with, um, with the letters on here, with the alphabet. So this piece is about, I think it's about four inches wide. I glued it to the back first and then once I had folded the front and the back I just glued this little piece here to the front signature and to the back signature. So that's what my book is. It's actually three file folder pieces. And so by using one and a half I still have a full side of a file folder that I can use as a, I can cut into tags for this. And then the closure is the same as um, these two where I punched my holes in the back and put my elastic through and it just holds the book closed. I added a um, envelope to the front cover just so that I can add things inside there. And instead of stitching everything, sewing everything, I ended up going with staples this time. I'm just going for the industrial look with this one because the papers I used inside are uh, very grungy, industrial looking. So that's um, what I did, a lot of stapling. This little tuck spot here has a staple. These little pieces that I added are uh, extra from cutting these down to, uh, I guess I went with 5 by 7 on this one. And I just wanted to embellish the edge here. Instead of putting it through one of those little edge punches, I put it through my cinch and just made holes. So it just gives it a bit of a decorative look. Added some graph paper. Sprayed these after the fact also. So it's basically the same style of embellishments and tuck spots all the way through the book. An envelope here, and then a little tuck spot there. So that was the first signature, one file folder there. Here's another one. This is really great paper. It's uh, Newsworthy, I think it's called. Paper Studio, I believe. I forget. Envelope got from Michaels. And that's the second signature. And then the third one. These are some of my downloads, little clown girls. Lots of journaling space. <coughs> And just an extra little pocket on the back, and there's my closure. So those are the file folder junk journals I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions, let me know. I will probably have more junk journals for you in the near future, although I'm not too sure when. Uh, because my husband is going to be off now for the next month and when he's home it's kind of hard to do videos because he's sort of in and out of the house a lot. But I will do my best to post something again soon. Okay? Thanks! Bye!